All right, good morning, Kurt here with Teach Mom How. Today I'm going to show you how to add a fade in iMovie. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm using the iMovie version on a MacBook Pro, so the computer version, this is iOS Sonoma, or iOS, or sorry, not iOS, it's Mac OS operating system uh, 14, or Sonoma, so it's the newest version as of February 14th, happy Valentine's Day. So we're gonna show you how to do a fade. Now these are also called transitions or cross dissolves. So here's how you do it. You click on transitions. Obviously if you haven't already, you open iMovie. It's the purple star. And again, if you don't have it there, go to launch pad. If it's not in your dock and either, either scroll through your pages till you find the purple star, which is iMovie or search it at the top until you find iMovie, okay? So obviously open iMovie. You can watch my other tutorials for other video editing tips and tutorials. I've got over two dozen iMovie videos. Check out the link to the playlist in the description. Um, but now we're gonna add a fade. Usually when people say a fade, they're referring to fade to black, which you can do right here. You go to transitions, then you click on fade to black and drag it to the end of your video. And that will fade to black. You can fade from black if you do it at the start of your video. Click and drag right there. Fades in. By the way, a cross dissolve, if done at the start or end of a video clip, will do the exact same thing. Okay. If you want to make this longer, you can double click it and tell it how many seconds you want that fade in to last. By the way, if you put three and then a period at the end, that will make it seconds versus 3.5, that'd be three and a half seconds. Click apply. And now when we zoom in, or sorry, when, when we play it, it does it really slow, that was choppy, but it does a really slow three and a half second fade in. I can make this one three seconds as well. That just means there's not enough of my clip remaining, which is weird because there should be, but I won't get into that right now, but that's the fade. All right, so that's the fade. I've got other videos on how to use different transitions and things like that, but that is how you fade in iMovie. If you found that helpful, stick around, check out some other iMovie tutorials or any other of my tech how-to videos. Have a great day.